I'm Gunnar Eklund. I'm an offensive lineman and a senior here at Washington State University. So coming from Lake Stevens, I didn't have a lot of offers or anything like that from big schools. And uh, a lot of people didn't think that I could play at this level, uh, whether my, they didn't trust my talent or where I'm from or whatever. But uh, I felt like WSU wanted me and they, and they didn't even offer me a scholarship either, but they wanted me and so I walked on. It just taught me so many different things in life. and. Uh, you know, just starting with hard work, you know, uh, I came here with nothing, paying my own way, and I, uh, I wanted to have a scholarship and I wanted to play, and that was my main goal. And uh, it taught me what it took to, what it takes to work hard to get something you want. In football, college football, you only get 12 guaranteed games, and uh, you work however many days of the year, I mean, hours and hours and sweat and tears and blood, and you work to play in that one game. So I think it's crazy when people don't compete but also it's just a, a competitive fight of a football player or of me. I mean, that's something that just keeps me going. I just, wanna, uh, I just want everyone to be able to look at me and just know that I'm working hard and doing my job and my part. Just like I want to look at everyone else and I want to see them doing their job and working hard and doing their part because I think that a lot of people can talk and uh, talk's cheap, but uh, if you put in the work and you do it and you show other people that you can do it, and you give them an example to look up to, I think it's uh, instrumental and helpful for uh, the younger players and the older players because everyone gets down and everyone needs someone to look to and even the seniors and all the older guys. And, but uh, when you work hard and put your nose down, it's a good way to lead by example. Uh, after losing that first game to Portland State as a team, uh, we were able to come together. I mean, it would have been so easy for all of us to just say, you know, we're done with this and to hell with this season and let's move on to the next season but we came together and uh, it was hard you know I mean we went through some stuff and had to go through some practices and everything everything that we wanted and worked up to had disappeared after that first loss so we had to come back together and regroup but my most proud moment is for sure uh, winning that Sun Bowl and just going out with a W and going out with a win because I've had a long career here at WSU and there's been a lot of losses and I, I really do, do not like losing at all. And uh, it's an emotional deal. I think football, I play football very emotionally and I think a lot of the guys do on the team. So after that kind of win and uh, after all the work we've done and how the season went, uh, to cap it off with a victory and be able to hold a trophy up, something that doesn't, WSU hasn't done for a long time. I mean, I'll never forget the feeling of holding it up and just being around my brothers and being around the people I love and people I battle with and holding it up for the last time, it was awesome. Football has kind of shown me that if someone says no, it's not, you don't throw in the towel, you just keep working. And uh, that's one thing that I'm going to try to use and uh, something my dad taught me too. And he's a really hard worker and I, I've had a big support group and a lucky group of people around me uh, that help me out in everything I do. But that's one thing is just hard work and, you know, just don't quit on your goals.